Hello and welcome to my channel, uh, or welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video, um, moving away from the Resident Evil stuff just for a minute. Um, I've managed to uh, get my hands on a few um, free minis from Games Workshop. Um, them being the teeny tiny, itsy bitsy um, rhinos uh, from the Legion Imperialis box, well not box set but um, game. Um, I have a history with the epic game. Um, I've got many of the old, uh, many many of the old Space Marines and Orcs from the original Epic many many years ago. So I was thrilled when I heard that Epic was returning. Uh, although in the 30k time period, um, my hopes is it eventually reach 40k. But anyway, um, I thought I'd do a series of videos where I go through uh, my way of painting. Um, the many legions featured in the uh, Horus Heresy books. So, um, before we get to it, if you would like to support my channel, um, please do. I have a PayPal linked in the description. Um, anything on there will go into improving the content and quality of these videos, uh, be it a new light source, better camera, those sorts of things. Um, but today, I will be painting um this rhino and i shall be doing it up in the imperial fists legion colors um, because that is my favorite legion um from the 40k uh and 30k um stories that and the night lord so i'll be doing the next one night lord colors but today it will be uh how i paint the imperial fists so first things first um it was sprayed in um, brain, brain masher beige uh, by the army painter um, uh, spray line uh, I will say having done two different base coats on my main imperial fist army that you, that's featured on this channel in battle reports it does make a difference to the finish so when you choose one stick to it so for these ones um, I'm going to be doing all my imperial fists because that's what color when I finally get the starter box set I'll be doing my legion as um, imperial fists um, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get one annoyingly um, but so yeah we'll get started on this rhino so the first thing we're going to do uh, or I'm going to do is I'm going to slap down a base coat of um, contrast imperial fists and this is going to be the base color so I'm going to slap it all over and uh, yeah so we'll get to that so remember always give your paint a good shake before applying this will probably need two coats um, and I hear these apply quite well with an airbrush but I do not have an airbrush well, I do but it's not a great one so it's quite a vibrant yellow so two coats is always quite a good place to start with a lot of these models so yeah I'll get two coats of this down and we'll be back Okay, so um, that's the two layers, two coats of uh, Imperial Fist completed. Uh, next in, we're going to go in with a bit of shading. So for this, we need uh, Cassandora Yellow. What we're going to do is we're going to get a uh, fairly decent sized brush. And we're going to water this down right about... 50-50 because we don't want it the um the highlight we well we don't want it darkened down too much so we want it to be flowing more into the into the crevices and the cracks so it's more targeted like so. You know, just paint this over the entire model. You want to stop it from pulling anywhere. Really, so just if there's a bit that's pulled, just get your brush and pull it away from that area. Yeah. That's so, I'll get the rest of the mini done and we'll be back. Alright, so with that um that Cassandora yellow dried on there. Uh, the next stage is we're going to go in with um, Contrast Black Legion and this is to hit all the bits that are going to be black or metallics. 
it's going to be this front these front spikes the the, the treads some of the uh the vents the exhausts and any guns as well so the the uh, missile the multi-melter the bolt are yeah let's get started on that also the um the trim on the uh on the shoulder pad as well for this chap this may need two coats just to get good coverage and yeah like I said the um the multi melter on the top and then the treads and then the inside of the treads as well so those bits and inside as well there like that so what you need is a very steady hand here you don't want to go on don't want to go into the yellow because it'll be a bitch to uh Correct. But yeah, I'll get that finished and we'll be back. And as you can see, that's how he's coming along so far. Uh, I did a second coat on the areas that are going to remain black, um, such as these bits here, these bits here, there, those undersidey bits, and his shoulders, his shoulder trim, and a couple of areas on the guns. Um, that just strengthens the black colour. Um, I've not been bo too bothered about the treads and stuff because now we're going to go over them with a silvery colour. So for that we're going to use Red Belcher. Yeah, and this is this is literally going to be all the silvery bits. So the 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 um uh, the vents on the side here. These bits. And then the treads, and then the front, the front dozer blade, uh, and parts of the silvery parts of the gun, and that's for both guns and the uh, the hit aisle, because it always hits hunter killers, don't they? They never ever miss. And then these bits are going to be silver as well. This bit here. And this bit here. So I'll get those done and we'll be back. Okay, so that's the silver's done. Um, next step is just a tiny bit. We're going to go Balthazar Gold. And that's going to be on the front of the multi motor here. <clears throat> We're not going mad on this because it's such a small mini. But we want the three foot roll. If it looks good from three feet away then we're happy yeah literally just that get that done and I'll be back okay so next we're going to go in with our wash of non oil this is going to be on all the silver bits as well as the bronzy bit for the gun and remember to give your pot a good shake because you don't want your Wash to come out shiny. And this will be slapped straight on, straight from the bottle. Yeah, so this is all the silvery bits, so like the treads, the bulldozer blade at the front, uh, the exhaust, and these little bits at the back. Yeah, I'll get her done. We're back. Right, so with that nearly dry, um, we're going to go on with Ushatabi Bone. And this is just to do the edge highlighting. Again, we're not going to use a, do a lot here. Just just enough, that probably just at the top of the tank and the sharpest edges, just to get a bit of a highlight on like that. Just 
where the light would catch. I'm really not bothered about doing a lot of highlights here because again it's such a small model. We just want to get it from a distance. A nice look from a distance. That's nice. Pretty happy to leave it there. Oh, did the step. Like that. And like that. Happy with that. And to highlight the black, we're going to go for a 50 50 mix of Dark Reaper and the Thurn Grey. As per usual, a little bit on the palette and then a bit of the grey. And just mix it in until you're happy with the, the highlight. I'm happy with that level. And again, this is just on the utmost edges. So, yeah. And here, just where the light would catch on the gun, that side. So if you put too much on, it will read as a different colour. Instead of being black, it will read more as grey. We don't want that. We want it to still read to the eye visually as black. So, add as little as possible. That. Happy with that. And next, we're going to go grab a transfer sheet. Uh, these are improved first ones. And I'll choose one of these or a couple of these and put, put it down on the right now. I'll get that done and we'll be back. There we go. That's uh, with some transfers added on. These are transfers you can get in any and uh, most Space Marine um, boxes. But yeah, I think the red goes nicely there. Uh, a few more things we can do just to spruce this up. Um, such as a bit of better damage and maybe a chapter symbol on this guy. So yeah. I'll get into that in a sec. And just a bit like a few little lines on the shoulder pads look like a chapter badge or something. It doesn't have to be perfect. So again, from a distance, it'll hold up. So yeah, there you have it. Completed Imperial Fist Rhino. If you want to do any weathering, like a bit of um, desert colour or something, you can. Or dirt or dust. Yeah, but if you like this video, um, please leave me a like and subscribe and share. I will be attempting to get to all the legions eventually. I'm going to purchase a box of rhinos and do each each legion up as a, a, a rhino painted. So yeah, that is the Imperial Fists. If you'd like to support the channel. Please uh, follow the link in the description to my PayPal. Anything on there will greatly um, help the channel. So yeah, thanks again for watching. See you in the next video. Happy painting.